I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So I am trying to call the DNR to see if um, they have an idea that might be able to help us get the ice house off or the fish house off the ice. Hi Jim, my name is Holly. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm in a little bit of a predicament. That's great. I appreciate the help. So thank you for taking the time to look those up for me. Bye-bye. Okay, so he gave me a couple numbers. Striking of... out left and right this morning on how to get this off the DNR goes, hey, you, you have until the 7th to get that off in March. I'm like, are you in Minnesota? It's supposed to be 60 degrees this week and the ice is melting at a serious rate. There's no way that a 1,500 pound fish house is gonna make it through this thaw. Hello, are you, where are you? Hi, sorry, I'm here. Are you messing with me or somebody can help us get the, are you saying somebody can get the no, fish I'm house off? I'm messing with you, yeah, he said he can help. He has a four-wheeler? Yeah, he has an ATV, I guess. The other option is that we get like a herd of people out there and we push it. Yeah, that's a little crazy. So I think he can help, so I'll let you know what he says. going out on the ice to drill holes to see if we can drive the Jeep on to pull the fish house off. You need 15 inches of ice, 12 to 15 inches of ice to drive a vehicle on the ice. So we thought we would go and drill holes every five to 10 feet or bigger and measure how deep it is and if it's 15 feet we're going to spray paint the circle so we know that's where to drive this here jeep if you've watched any of the vlogs before we've been here before this is where we brought the ice fishing house on most people would take their boat or their they would take their fish house off on the other side of the lake where the boat launch is but that is there's no ice there it's running water so we're going to measure here and see how deep it is We'll find out very shortly. inches wow not what we thought right no how far do you want to walk and then drill again uh... now our concern is this doesn't look the best standing water Where we just were. Nice shot of the clouds for you. Our fish house is way up there. Look at the what looks like running water. Here's the fish house. That's not like foreshadowing for our future here. What are we gonna decide to do here? Well, we gotta get it out of the water. <laughs> no! 
Hey, we're weighing out our options here. There's three ways this can go. John's trying to correct me. He says there's two options. I don't, I think, what's the two? Why is there only two? We get out there, it doesn't pull it. Or we start pulling it and it gets stuck and then we gotta, can't pull it anymore. You're not gonna get stuck. Yeah, but the, the third one is like the ice breaks and it, the Jeep oh, goes yeah. through. Yeah, That's breaks. three. I, I don't think the ice breaks. Oh. <laughs> there's only one spot that's empty, but. <clears throat> well, the ice house has to come off. Headed back to the lake. Lily's friend is gonna meet us there with his four-wheeler and hopefully we're gonna pull it off. Hey Jack, how are you doing man? Very good, I'm Jack. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for, uh, this will get it done today, my friend. That is, I'm hoping, no guarantees on that. That done, so it's done. to you. Get on a plane, get here, and we'll have some fun. I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is gonna work. <laughs> 